And so what that means to us is that we're seeing right now about $180 billion in new capital investment in chemical manufacturing. In 2016, 48% of all capital investment in manufacturing in the United States was accounted for by the chemical industry. And about 60% of this $180 billion uh, is foreign direct investment. So our industry is onshoring jobs, we're onshoring capital. But what is absolutely required if we're going to capitalize on this opportunity that we have for the chemical industry and the role that we can play for renaissance and manufacturing, we have to see investment in our infrastructure. We need the pipeline systems to move mm -hmm. natural gas uh, to these manufacturing hubs. Uh, we need more roads uh, that are of higher quality. Uh, and when you look also the fact that this new expansion of chemical manufacturing in the United States is not primarily to serve the domestic market, but it's using the United States as a platform to serve the global marketplace. Mm -hmm. So we need investment in our ports and our you know, barge systems, uh, as well as our rail systems. And so this is why it's important for Congress and this administration to act uh, on an infrastructure proposal that will ensure that we can capitalize on this really what is a once in a generational opportunity to see a resurgence of America's competitiveness in the entire manufacturing sector. The other uh, thing that I think is absolutely critical is our policymakers consider how can we expand the investment in infrastructure, that they consider policies that can ensure that the taxpayers are getting the greatest return for the investments we're making in our infrastructure. And I think that there's some opportunities to include policies in our infrastructure proposals that ensure a very simple concept of open competition. Let us ensure that some of the new innovative products that are coming to the marketplace that can enhance the performance of some of our infrastructure materials, be they our water piping systems, uh, they're used for sanitation and water delivery, whether it be the asphalt uh, that we're paving our roads with, whether it be the concrete and products that are building our overpasses mm -hmm. with and many others. There's a lot of innovative products that have come into the marketplace.